Hey, what's up? This is going to be my first time reacting to something like this. This is just this is just a test. Let me know uh, let me know if you like it, you know, subscribe, like the video, give me a comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to see me do more of this sort of thing. Um first of all, before I even start, I want to give a shout out to Brian and the Whatever podcast. I'm a huge fan of that podcast as well as Fresh and Fit, you know, all the the red pill content. Um, I like the spicy stuff. It's fun. It's fun to watch this. Um, it's very entertaining. I, I think that the the women who are on these shows are actually confused on why these types of podcasts are so popular. Um, it's not because these women are giving out any wisdom or, you know, finally teaching the male what we're doing. No, no, no. It's because that y'all say the most outlandish, crazy stuff that any of us have ever heard. And it's nice to be able to respond without any fear of, uh, you know, social backlash. So let's see what these chicks, it looks like it's a small group tonight. Let's see what they have to say. And um, I'm watching this blind. Uh, I just picked one that's recent. Um, that I haven't seen a lot of stuff about. So let's just see what happens. Real quick, is it a green flag if a guy is in therapy? Absolutely. Yes. Gabby? Um, yeah. I mean, if you're not, that's not like a... a green flag? No, but like... Right. I think once you work through like some things that you're really struggling on, that might have reflected in past relationships. Or wait, 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 wait. Did he ask them if it's a green flag if the guy's in therapy? It's a green flag? I mean, I guess it depends on what they're in therapy for, but therapy is not a green flag. I, I, I argue the exact opposite. If I'm hooking up with a girl and she says, hey, by the way, I'm bipolar and I see a therapist three times a month. Uh, date's over. Actually, it wouldn't even get to a date uh, because I would find out that information before I even went on a date. Um, I, I would just ask. It would come up in conversation uh, because I care about those sorts of things. If you don't have your mental uh, clarity in check and your mental health in check, you don't need to be going on dates and getting into a relationship. You need to be like concentrating on yourself. And if that means therapy, that's fine, but it's a red pill. Okay, let's let's keep going. Let's do it. But like hookups, then yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's attractive because it's like you're able to overcome it's attractive. And learn from what your struggles were. Sure. Yeah, I would say therapy is a green flag. <gasps> what? Yeah. All of them. It's Good. <laughs> it's good. It, it's good that the person you're gonna hook up with has mental problems. I mean, I mean, like I said, it, it depends on what the therapy's for. If it's for like the loss of someone, or like you got in a car accident and now you're like scared of traffic or something, or uh, you know you went to war and you saw a bunch of people be be turned into hamburger, then okay, fine. But if you're just like crazy, or you're bipolar, or you're schizo, or you know, that's not a red, that's not a real, a good thing. That is an absolute red flag. What the hell? Okay, wait, wait, wait. And you said yes, yeah? All right, here's the hot, I'm, I'm going to give the hot take. I think it's a red flag if someone's in therapy. Why? Okay, so. Tell him, Brian. It's a bigger red flag if they have a mental health issue and they're not in therapy. Okay. But if they're in therapy, getting treated for something, then I, to me, I think that's a red flag. 100%. I'd much rather someone who's not in therapy, who doesn't have any yep. issues going on, that's a green flag. Okay, he gets it. Here we go. You're gonna, okay, someone who's in therapy for I agree. severe bipolar disorder, you're gonna tell me that's a green flag? Okay, why? <laughs> Well, just because somebody is bipolar doesn't mean that they can't function like normal people. Oh my god, yes it does. Oh, uh, what? 
you've never met anybody with severe bipolar disorder. It absolutely does mean that. What the? What is wrong with your brain, chick? That's exactly what that means. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this idiot has to say. And just because it, you're in therapy doesn't mean that you're like treating something. Exactly. Like you have issues. And just exactly. because you're not in therapy doesn't mean that you don't have issues either. Wait, wait. First of all, a few things. Number one, that's what therapy is. You, you're so wrong. You go to therapy for a reason. You got a situation you're trying to get through. You, your parent died, your child died, you were in a car accident, you went to war, you're crazy. Oh, something. Voices in your head are telling you to go take a shit in the park. Some, something's wrong. What the hell are you talking about? And, and number two, that's not her real voice. Nobody talks like that. Nobody talks like a valley girl. Oh my God. There's a commercial about this where the dude goes to order a coffee. Anyways, that's not her real voice. She's fake. Look at her face. Complete undateable. I hope to God that somehow my video makes the rounds and that girl right there sees this. You are undateable. Simply because of the way you talk, the inflection in your voice, and, and oh my God, and, uh, nobody really talks like that. Men, well, okay, go ahead. Also, if you're not in therapy, how would you know you needed that help or not? I mean, you can be aware of ongoing, if you have any mental health. Yes, Brian, because it's you, because you know yourself. The issue is you, you can be aware of it. How? And just, I mean, if you know you're open your you eyes, borderline personality disorder. If you know you have a BP or a bipolar disorder, if you have some other uh, disorder. But some people can't choose what disorders they have or don't have. Of course, I'm not. But I'm just saying, in terms of if if I'm looking for a partner, who can? And God, the girls so like, dumb. yo, I've got fucking crazy bipolar, and I'm I've got BPD, and. What if she's like, oh, like I'm just checking with the therapist here and there just to have someone like a someone from the outside world giving me advice or their outtake on things. Because she's weak. Also, that's not. I mean, that's not terrible, but no, I, it also weak. She's helps weak. because when you don't work through a lot of issues, and like there are select few people in the world who, you know, like go on for most of their life who probably don't have as extensive mental issues as other people, but. Let's say you end up with a girl who you really, really like and you want to build a future with her and she has mental issues. Like, it's going to. You wouldn't be with that girl in the first place. You wouldn't go to a girl like that and make her your wife. You wouldn't be with the girl. You would find a way to get away from her if you were already in a relationship with her and she starts having major mental problems. She is not the woman you met. She's changed. Oh my God. And also, might I add, this is a complete and total woman issue. Men don't have all these psychological issues. You want to know why a 45, 42-year-old guy plays video games? That's his therapy. Why he goes to the gym? That's his therapy. Why he goes hunting? That's his therapy. Why guys go fishing? That's their therapy. Why guys hang out and drink beer and watch the game? That's their therapy. We don't need to go pay hundreds of dollars to some stranger to tell our problems to. That's you. That's women. That's your problems. We don't do that. So, yeah, it's fine for y'all, but... Uh, oh, my God. Okay, wait. They're, 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 it can't get worse than this. These Every single one of these chicks are so stupid. You're reflecting your relationship. I don't want to have... Not, no, I don't want to have a relationship with a girl who has mental issues. So if you really no liked her and she was like, why, I why have you should, why heavy can't, depression, you'd be like, okay, bye. Why can't I have my, my own preferences? Honestly, that's up for you. But here we go with the voice again. Why can't you have those preferences, Brian? I'm going to tell you because you're a man and you don't get preferences. We don't get to, to say what we want. 
because the girls, all they do is, oh, I feel like, or I think like, I don't give a damn what you think or how you feel about something. I'm telling you the facts. If I'm interested in someone, before it even gets to a date, I've already established if she has like any sort of mental hangups or any sort of problems like that. I have already gotten there. There is no way that any normal sane man would get in a relationship with the girl and like a year later find out she crazy. You're going to find that out right away. And that's when you put her into that other category and you move on to the next girl. Here we go with the voice again. It's not her real voice. This is stupid. To decide. That's just my preference. But I don't think it's like a red flag that someone's in therapy. For me, I th I think it's it depends it's on a what red the, flag. Depends on what it's it for. It shows that they're working on it. Like they're That's working fine. on something. I have I don't have a uh, I don't have anything against people who are in therapy. If you want to get therapy, if that helps you, fantastic. But for, for I I know I keep pausing it. I'm gonna try not to to pause it anymore. Um, maybe a couple more times. But I agree. It depends on what they're in therapy for. And I'm not shitting on people who are going to therapy. You go to therapy. You have problems. Good for you. Good job working on yourself. But I am not interested. I got my mental health in check. I am not depressed. I am happy. I am enjoying life. I don't need to go talk to a stranger to work out any problems. If you do... Congratulations on actually taking care of your problems. That is a good thing. I hope it works out for you. Next girl. For a partner. Like, like looking for a partner. I want, I don't want someone in therapy or who needs therapy. So would you, like, if you had a partner and then you guys were having, um, like, relationship issues, would you go to couples mm. therapy or would you just break it off? That's not the same thing. I, I probably, probably would, would not... not probably would not go to a therapist what's wrong with therapy like what is the stigma for you around it okay well it's expensive and one-sided i'd say the first thing is are, are we talking about the couples therapy thing or are we talking about it about you because you're talking about people who go to therapy for themselves so what is the reason for you that it like what's the stigma for somebody who's going for themselves I, I don't think there's... Or why would you go to therapy? No. Um, I think... There is no stigma about someone going to therapy. The problem arises is when you want me to date that person. And I think... And, and, and then on top of that, think that they going to therapy is a green flag. Nobody ever said that people shouldn't go to therapy. Go right ahead. Have, have at it. Have a good time. I hope it helps you. I'm not interested, though. I think the only scenario where I would go to therapy is if I was dealing with, like, a, a death of a parent and maybe, like, I needed to get some... Sometimes the uh, hospice cares will... You know, how, how do you cope with the death of a loved one? But, like, in terms of my life difficulties, I would never see a therapist. Ever. You wouldn't consider that a life difficulty? What? Losing somebody? Like that's no, I'm, talk in the I'm talking in about life. like, I'm talking just about, oh, like life is tough. Like, I just said, I w the circumstance under which I might go to therapy is like, how do I cope with the death of a parent? That's maybe, or the death of a child or something. If I had kids and one of my children died, I'd maybe go to therapy under those circumstances. But like, just dealing with like, the milieu and the fucking drudgery of life. No, all my pro like, see, I think men and women tend to deal with their problems differently. I don't want to talk about my problems. I have difficulties, but I want solutions to my problems. I don't want to talk about my problem. Yo, that is such a good point, Brian. Thank you for saying that. Men don't want to go talk about our issues and our problems. We already get stigmatized for doing that. Why would I want to go and share my intricate thoughts and feelings with some guy or some woman and then pay them all this money to do so? I'd much rather sit down at the PlayStation or, or, or the PC and play some games with my friends on Discord and talk shit to each other. That's what I need.
I don't need this other therapy. And I don't think uh, on your average, maybe some soft soy boys might go to therapy because their feelings are... But a real man's not going to do that. He's going to call his buddies. They're going to get drunk. They're going to play 18 holes of golf. And it's gonna that's going to be it. It's going to be golf and Jack Daniels. That's therapy for men. Golf and Jack Daniels. What's that? that but you said you want solutions. You don't want to talk about them. But like, I think. Have you been, been to therapy? therapy? Yeah. Yes. Ta- yeah. They don't really they give, give you solutions. They have do. you been to therapy? Huh? Have you been to therapy? Uh, when I was younger, I had some anxiety issues. I had panic attacks, so I saw a therapist, and he helped me with my panic attacks. And they want you to like come if you back. Met someone and they had panic attacks, and they were seeing a therapist. You would not want to see them. Or if you met somebody and they were seeing a therapist because I think panic attacks would be okay, okay, but I think most people are in. Oh uh, no, 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 panic attacks. No. Actually, you, you might you've maybe changed my mind a little bit on this. So, it, I guess it depends what they're in there for. But I mean, generally speaking, oh, I do not like that girl. I'd say generally speaking, no, I would not want to date someone who's seen. Like, I think it's more of like a resource. Like you said, like if your parents passed away or like something or a loss of someone and you didn't know how to deal with it, you would use a therapist as a a resource to get a solution or to see insight. So like that would be the reason you would go. But then. uh, All right. So I actually agree with her. I actually agree. If your parent died or your child dies or something like that and you need therapy, I would never hold that against someone. However, if you're going through that and you're seeing a therapist because maybe your child died or your, your parents died, I think the last thing you should be do is, doing is going on dates and trying to hook up with someone. You need to just, I don't think women, can, women can't do that. You just need to focus on yourself and your family and heal from within. Like, like go away for a little while and like go see your therapist and stuff, but like don't go on dates. While you're trying to go through this, this stuff, a life is long. You got lots of time. Look how dumb she. I'm sorry. I just don't. I don't like people like that. This this one right here, the voice one. Ugh. Someone else could be like, it doesn't have to be like dreading life. It could be like losing a really good job. How do I deal with this? Like you know, like someone can't find a solution. How you may be able to find a solution. If I just lost my job, I'm not. Okay, well, that's probably not the best example, but I'm saying, like, losing a parent could be one, and, like, you I said go, that, yeah. Yeah, and losing then, like, a parent. someone doesn't go to therapy for just dreading life. They can go for, like, plenty of reasons. Or, like, if you, like you said, you wouldn't go see a couple's therapist, but if you were with someone and you really like them and you guys can't find a solution, what's wrong with getting a solution another way? Just like you would go get a solution. Well, so I'll, I'll tell you one of the reasons why I'm sort of against therapy is... Therapy is kind of anti-male, so... Yeah. What do you mean anti-male? What What do you mean? Therapy, like like the American American Psychological Association. Association. Eric, can you look it up? Um, It's like American Psychological Association. Um, He's right. Maleness. I'm trying not to see if I can... Brian's right. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology. He's 100% right. Um... I don't know if it's it's the the American American Psychological Association. It's one of these organizations. You're right, Brian. Um, And they They said said something about how masculinity... masculinity, Fuck, I'm trying to find it. Um, Masculinity is... Harmful masculinity and... Fuck, I wish I had this ready to go, but I don't. All I have to say is here we go. narrowing down your options to just keep you... (laughs) <laughs> are you saying not every woman is in therapy but you have like a lot of like <laughs> stipulations but like a, so a woman can't even go through things in her life to need therapy that's a lot of people they don't even have to have a mental illness it's just life like life happens also mental health can be developed so like if it's not a potential partner it could be someone that you're already dating and they developed it over time like let's say no, um, no. If you were married no, and that, that's you guys stupid. were going to have a kid, that woman could develop postpartum depression and it stays with her after that. Like, would you still want to be with that partner or would you want to? There, there, okay, that's like I said, there are so, some circumstances where right. therapy is fine. Uh-huh. I agree. But 
look, the point I'm trying to make is, is if you're seeing a therapist, for example, and you have severe mental, it's, it's kind of less the I'm in therapy and it's more, what are you in therapy for? Right. That's the issue that I have. It's not strictly that you're in therapy. It's why are you in therapy? Are you in therapy because you're dealing with some crazy fucking baggage from an ex? Next. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with a girl that doesn't have anything to do with therapy. You're just like, I don't have any crazy baggage from an ex. So why would I deal with someone having crazy baggage from an ex? Yes. It's as simple as that, but it's not the therapy aspect. It's just like, but they're in therapy to deal with that. But you're not like, Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to see you because you're in therapy. Okay. All right. All right. Let me end this right here. Okay. So. God. It's it's not the you're, this girl's the only one that has like a little bit of a brain. It's not that you're in therapy. It's that what you're in therapy for, and it's not that if you are with your wife and she has a baby and she has postpartum pre- uh, depression. Yeah, of course. What? That's not the question. The original question was, is it? a green flag if someone's in therapy that means that you're hooking up with them you haven't like you're not in a relationship yet you're going to hook up with someone if i'm going to hook up with someone and she tells me hey i'm in therapy i have severe bipolar hope that's okay it's not date is over that's it it's not okay not for me I don't need that in my life. I don't want that in my life. I've been there, done that. I got the t-shirt and all that fun stuff. I got the scars to prove it. I wish that was a joke. Anyways, this has been my attempt to interject my own thoughts into the whatever podcast. Um, I would love to fly there and be on their panel. Uh, But I think I need to get a little bit more well-known and make quite a few more videos like this. Uh, maybe Brian would actually watch it. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. You know it helps the YouTube algorithm if you like, subscribe, and watch the whole video all the way. So if you're watching this right now, I love you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace and love.